as you know, I got a text during the show a couple days ago saying, are you okay if it's Bill Walton? You fine with Bill Walton? I'm like, are, I, I texted back an expletive. I'm like, are you serious? It was Bill Walton. So sure enough, I stroll in, and there is the dressing room with my name underneath Bill Walton's name. Had to take a picture of that. That's a first. Okay. <laughs> Open the door, and who is sitting in there by himself on his laptop? but none other than the 1993 Basketball Hall of Famer himself, Bill Walton. Okay? And he's sitting in a chair that specially that, that he brings around, because you know he's got bad, a bad back, back surgery. Right. He brings his own chair, and it looks like this monster lawn chair with plastic uh, back and a plastic seat that he can sit in all day. And it's so big and tall enough that his, his legs don't have to bend in any certain way. It's very comfortable for him. So sure enough, it's now time to shoot. And we stroll out, and he's bringing his chair, and he stroll out, and who's walking down the hall but the mountain from Game of Thrones? <laughs> and I'm like, I got to take a picture with these two guys. <laughs> and I Instagrammed this yesterday, and it looks like a cardboard cutout of me wow. and two very tr tremendously tall human beings. The now, mountain is so big. That is great. The mountain is almost as big as Bill Walton. Walton's son. He's yeah. like seven feet, right? Unbelievable. We go downstairs in the elevator, and Bill Walton says to, uh, says to the mountain, he goes, where are you from? You know, the mountain's like from Iceland. He goes, so you speak, you, you, it, the, there's only one town in Iceland, right? Reykjavik. <laughs> and I'm like, I wish I could record this conversation. And, you know, I guess the mountain's kind of like, yeah, you know, Reykjavik's the capital. And he says, can you say the Rich Eisen show is the greatest show in Icelandic? And I'm like sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and I say to myself, I like say, well, he can. I don't know if he will. And then he started speaking Icelandic and said the word Rich Eisen. And I'm like, man, oh, man, I wish. That's amazing. I wish, you know, I've already broken the no phone code. And they're like, don't tweet this stuff out until the music video airs. And I thought it was like, and I thought to myself, it's only stuff if I shot the music video. There's right. no, I'm in a hallway with these You're guys, in a hallway. right? I'm not giving out revealing anything totally fine. except the mountain and Bill Walton, and had no idea that there's all these fan sites of Katy Perry that took. They found that. Bless it. A Katy Perry fan site in Brazil saw my Instagram post, which is great. I am big with the Katy Perry uh, Portuguese speaking fans now, like I've never been before. Just fantastic. We shoot this video, and it's Bill Walton and I as announcers. And we are riffing. The script is there, but they want us to riff, which means Bill Walton riffs. He's <laughs> just going. He's going and in a way a couple of times. The things he said out of his mouth, all of this is shot. And I said, whatever you don't use, can you give to me? And I will air on the air on the Rich Eisen show. And they said, yes. So we're going to have to hold him to it. Because a couple of times I said to him, did you use that in an actual Pac-12 game, Bill? Did that ever? <laughs> and he's like, you know what? I'm... I I might just remember that for this fall, you know? Unbelievable. He couldn't have been nicer. He signed everybody's back. I mean, he took pictures of everybody. He signed actual basketballs that people were using that were on the set. I, I might have been a reveal, but that's that's already out there on the Katy Perry blogs. It's a basketball-related video. The, the song's called Swish Swish, for, for crying out loud. So at any rate, we get shot out so quickly. We're done. About two hours before they're expecting us to, to be done. So it's now time. Bill's going back down, all the way down to where he lives, about two hours away in, in Southern California. And he's looking to get the hell out of here because you can beat the traffic on the 405 right here and right now. But he's got to go back to his hotel in downtown Los Angeles, mere miles away from where we're shooting. And he says to the whoever's, you know, in charge of this, whichever person of, this, of the operation, he goes, you know, is, is a car ready? Do you have my car? And the guy's like, We're, we can order one for you. And then he turns to me, he says, can you drive me? <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, well, I've got my sedan. You right, know, right. I, don't, I, I don't know if you can fit in it. And I don't know if your chair can fit in it. But we're going to try. <laughs> <laughs> if I can give Bill Walton a ride, we are going to damn well try this thing out. <laughs> so sure enough, we're walking out. And it's about a block and a half walk because I drove myself. And there's Bill Walton walking down Flower Street in downtown Los Angeles, holding his chair and walking with his chair. Wow. Well, I'm like, Bill, it's just a little bit longer. It's just, he's, don't worry. This is fine. We're good. We're good. 
We finally get to the car, and it is not fitting in the back. <laughs> and I'm like, I got to move car seat, kid seats, you know, right. kid seats. Sure. There's a Course. booster seat. That, of course. That's one seat. The, 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 the back seat isn't going down because there's a booster seat in there. And so now Bill Walton is handling my children's car seats. Bill Walton, as we're trying to put his big chair in it. And, we're, you know, and admittedly, you know, um, car's not clean. It's not spick and span, which is apparently uh, a theme for me these days. At any rate, so we finally, finally just begin to get it in, and I close the, the hatch part of it, and it's a glass back. We close it. It closes. Yes, we're ready to go. And I walk to the – he walks to the passenger seat. I walk to the driver's side, and we hear a crack. <laughs> the chair was up against the glass – and broke it and shattered the back window of my car. And Bill Walton was beside himself. <laughs> and we spent in traffic. Wow. As the crow flies, it's two miles, but it took about 20 minutes. Susie called in at one point. Wow. He called, you know, he, he was calling somebody uh, that he knew and basically said, I'm, I'm in Rich Eisen's car. And it looks like his children live in it. <laughs> That's what he said. And he, oh, the whole time he's offering, I, I got to pay for this. I got to pay for this. And I'm like, absolutely no chance. Yeah, don't sweat it, Bill. Wow. What is that chair made of? Metal. It's a metal chair. Cracked, smashed the window. Smashed it. Do you have any questions based on the story that I just unveiled with me and Bill Walton on the set of a Katy Perry music video yesterday? Oh in downtown my. Los Angeles, Chris Brockman. Okay, uh, number one, were you embarrassed that uh, your car was so messy? Of course. Of course. I should know, but why would I think that Bill Walton would need a lift after the, after the shoot? I don't think you would, but I guess now you never know. And, and you could see on the, the photograph of the crack of my window, you could see a crayon in yeah, the back totally. of the seat. An orange crayon. An orange crayon. Oh, wait, I, I, is that orange or is that burnt sienna? Oh, geez. Stupid, Can't tell. Stupid Crayola in their names. <laughs> okay, uh, number two, uh, have you gotten the glass fixed yet? No, it's happened yesterday. Okay. I went home and I came to the Rich Eisen show today. I have an idea. Yes. Yeah. We pop it out. Keep it. Next time you see Bill Walton, sign, keep, sign it. Oh, and it stays on, yeah. and it stays on the set. Well, yeah. we can't pop it. I, 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 they I, can get it out. And, but I tell them, keep it, right? Yep. Now, that was a, now that was a yep that I... You believe. Believe. <laughs> a yep, you can believe in from Mike Del Tufo. Okay, That's my number, motto. Uh, number three. Bill Walton has offered to pay. He has. Will you let him? No. No. I will not. Why not? Because uh, you got to be kidding me. I'm not taking Bill Walton's money. Are you out of your mind? What if he insists? He did. That's what I mean. So I don't have care. To pay, I you don't have to care. pay respect, Rich. No, I don't. Hall of Famer. Top five college basketball player of all time. Uh, I understand who he is. It's exactly why I won't take his money's no good. His money's no good. His money is no good. How many more? How many more inflections do I have to say about that? Yep. Are you trying <laughs> to? <laughs> are you going to parlay this into Bill coming in the studio no, to I've apologize? Already, I already invited. I already invited him to come on and talk about it. Okay. I don't know if he wants to. I don't know if he thought like this actually happened. It it happened. Can you imagine that? At one point, just to have fun, he took his belt off during the <laughs> why wouldn't he? During the whole, you know, riffing, and he took it and he wrapped it around my head. <laughs> and I said to everyone on the set, I'm like, if I, I when I woke up this morning, I did not think I'd be I'd have Bill Walton's belt wrapped around my head. He kept saying to me, "Sorry, Rich, I'm so sorry." And I'm like, "This is the greatest thing ever." Everything you say and everything you do is the greatest thing ever. And I never thought that the back of my car glass would be totally shattered and I'd be like ecstatic about it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.